Alrighty. Well, you can see we're outside. And it's morning time. It's fairly early. Brennan's here. I pulled, I went and done all I needed to do. And I stuck it all back together. I put it all back together last night after, uh, after work. We went and done, there was all kind of stuff going on. And we got it all done. And I got home. And, uh, I got it stuck back together here. I just happened to notice I had the tripod and carrying mode instead of standing up mode. So I've got it. I just poured gas in it. I haven't pulled the rope since I put gas in it, so I don't, I don't know what it's going to take to crank it. I'm hoping that we pull it a couple of times and it fires right off and we adjust it and it runs good. Y'all keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to make this short right here because we have a lot of other stuff to do and I'm going to try to show y'all some of that. So let's see what this runs like. Lord, please let this thing crank. Decomp. <laughs> I'm probably I'm probably gonna wind up taking the cover off right here in a second and whipping the rubber out of there. There it is. Now we're gonna give that a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and give that a little bit. <sighs> running. Might go in there and pull the top cover off of it and jerk that rubber out of there. Come 
see what goes through the rest of the day all right this is probably just going to be a day of documenting what we're doing <clears throat> this is what we're doing this is a part of what we're doing so yeah y'all just gonna get to see little clips of stuff that's on the table yeah you can identify certain things but we gotta make a we gotta make another one of these with a smaller slot in it so uh yeah. All right, y'all. We're trying to press crank apart. Well, I ain't gonna say we're trying, but we already accomplished one time. We were gonna film it, but uh, it kind of escalated quickly. So uh, <clears throat> we didn't get it filmed, but there's that hash. So we're gonna try this again and see if Yahtzee. Just that easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skip the nine and a half hours it took to make all this crap. <laughs> Ten seconds of fame. Ten seconds of fame for nine hours of work. <laughs> Story of our life. Now, you know one thing I didn't think? We didn't mark these crank halves, so how are we going to know which one goes on which side? <laughs> I was going to say, I hope that's it there. Brendan looked at me like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> I think we can tell. <clears throat> I was like, well, this one goes on the flywheel side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one goes on the clutch side. Our swim was straight when we shorted. And now it's not straight anymore. It is now shrooked. I'm going to tighten our... Well, I'm trying to tighten our pusher foot up in there. So it'll quit falling out. Because we're going to probably use it to press this back together maybe directly yeah we we made that this morning and i showed you this i made that then we had to remake the flat piece which is laying up yonder and we made this and i made that and now we have this separate so just wait to see what we do directly all right everybody there's our new power knee system for the mill. And this is our setup. <laughs> we made a pin that fit in the collet so we could center it and then we swept the side of it. And we've got the machine zeroed out. We're holding the stub. Uh, we get everything set back up to board. We might uh, throw it on here a little bit and let y'all have a look at that. I would sweep it, but you can't sweep it because that pin stuck in there, which is stuck in there, which is clamped in there, which is bolted to that, which is bolted to that. 
which is bolted to that. So it don't move very well. Not when everything's stuck in each other anyway. All right, we'll bring you back here directly. All right, y'all. We ran into a small problem with our, oh, sorry, picked up the wrong one. This is what we were using. Notice the silver over here on the edge. That's where the backside was hitting. So that didn't work. So we drug out the old carbide, inserted stuff, but then all it was dull. So we had to come over here and we had to, we had to find a piece of metal and make this arbor so we could put this wheel on here so we could sharpen the carbide. I've had the wheels for a long time. Uh, never had an arbor to put it on a grinder. So uh, we're just filming little clips. We're gonna tip set back up now. And if the turning starts working, we're gonna film a little bit of that. Well, we ain't turning, we're, we're milling with a boring head. So, yeah, hopefully. All right, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see the. We got us a boring bar in there, and we're slowly but surely. You can see how it's oblonged up at the top. We're slowly boring it out to a bigger size. So. All right, I might show you another in here directly. All right, I don't know if y'all can tell it or not, but our hole is walked off. So uh, we're gonna give up this uh, this endeavor with this, and uh, we're gonna start over. So uh, we're gonna go a different route. So you'll get to see that here in a minute, maybe. All right, here y'all go. This is gonna be the crankshaft. Uh, we decided to just make two full, two full halves and just cut the stubs off. Uh, I'm drilling the, the hole for the stubs now. We've already chamfered both sides of it. And, Put a cut in the center so you can see where it's going to be sawed in half. We were going to cut it with a part tool, but the part tool was not happy. This is 4150, and it's extremely hard. Even though it's in a milled state, it's still hard. I think we're to the bottom of the hole there. So, all right. It's hard filming this, y'all, so trying to get it the best we can, but you can see this is going to be one half, and that's going to be the other half. We're boring a hole in it, and we've cut the stub somewhere over here. We've cut the crank stub off like this. So we're going to press this into the piece and then weld it from the back. Yeah, we don't know exactly where we're going to put that. We'll figure it out directly. All right. All right, here goes something. We're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start drilling the hole. We're drilling the center. Y'all, I would love to film all this, but it's not a real good thing. But we are having a heck of a time, so we're just trying to get a little bit as we go, and hopefully this will give y'all enough indication of what we're doing. We got the center drilled and now we're gonna we're gonna switch over to a drill bit and we're gonna drill a hole and then we got to uh, bore it to size. And we'll try to show you little clips of that as we go along. We're still going. We changed over to a roughing mill. We drilled a quarter inch hole and a 560 hole and now we're using a sharpened 5 8 end mill. 
so it's like 605, 606 thousandths. Our total hole is going to be 624, 620, somewhere right in the 623, 625 range. About 16 millimeter, maybe 626. So there's a shot of Brennan precisionly running the the uh, wheel down. So power feed. Power feed. We don't recommend this. <laughs> We're gonna give it a one out of ten stars. <laughs> It's not loads of fun, I can honestly say that, but we're we're slowly getting there. Uh, now, there was some aggravation involved with boring, so we're probably not going to film much of that, but we might. If it goes all right, we'll try. We've only got to bore out about 20,000, so uh, hopefully we'll get you a video out this evening. It's already dark, so it's, it's way after quitting time. We've been at it all day. All right, y'all. We've got half the half crank sort of put together. We ain't gonna be running no saws today, cause uh, obviously it's uh, it's after eleven o'clock. Push the jog button. Looks pretty good. It needs to be a bit. It ain't bad. So y'all can see what we've done now. We pressed the center of the other crank into this half we made. So that's part of what we've been machining and drilling the holes in. So uh, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. I'm probably just going to go ahead and finish this video and edit it right now because uh, I ain't kidding. It's what, 11.15? We've been, we've been, at, we've been at it since hours. 10 o'clock this morning or yeah, 9.30, about, yeah. somewhere in there, so uh, we're tired. If this video looks bad, sorry about that, but if you could see how I'm standing, I can't even stand straight up right now. I got my knees cocked like I'm almost sitting down because my back's hurting so bad. So, uh, <sighs> I hate we didn't get to go run those saws today. Brendan actually brought a bunch of saws with him. We were going to go run some and make a heck of a video. But things just didn't pan out. So, uh, appreciate y'all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut it off. I'm going to start uploading this video. So, y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you will be treated. God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you. We'll hop her out. Bye.